Hey everybody, I'm Linux Gamer, and I just put up a video. Uh, if you haven't watched the video, you can check it out uh, right here. I'll put an annotation right up on the screen. Um, if you have watched it and you saw the uh, special effects that I did, which you can see right here in the preview, I did some compositing, some special effects. Um, a lot of you have asked how I did it, and so I'll, this is how. I'll show you. So if you saw if you saw the video that I did, you can see here that I actually composited several video tracks uh, in order to get it to look like this, the finished product. So I'll show you exactly what each uh, video track does. So right here you can see uh, video track three. This is just uh, the thug here, right? So he uh, just goes along and then I fall over, right? and I speed up my falling uh, to match the speed of him being tackled. So now let's get rid of that and show you just the th uh, Hitman walking out. So you can see there are two different shots. Okay, now um, what I did here is I actually composited these two shots using this darkening effect, right? So you. Uh, what you can do is you uh, right click and hit transition and then use the uh, darken effect. Now I didn't know what I was doing uh, when I did this. I just kind of winged it. Um, I, I knew that I could do stuff like this but I didn't know how well the darkening effect would work. Now if you look very closely over here you can actually see that the two tracks um, look differently. right? So you have this track where the, the camera moves slightly when I fell the first time, and I did multiple takes of me as Hitman uh, tackling the thug, right? So every time I did that, the camera moved a little bit because I have a cheap uh, tripod and it's not very heavy, so it moved pretty easily. You can see here where the chairs are, and they don't match up perfectly here, right? So you can actually see a little bit of the, um, the different tracks and how they're uh, kind of messing with each other. So what I did to solve that is I actually just duplicated this um, this clip. So I'll show you uh, right here. I have that clip. So that's just the me running in as Hitman. Okay. And then what I did is I actually uh, I'll get rid of that and show you this top one, where all I did was uh, composite one third of the whole video track. So essentially, it's exactly it's just me running out, right? And then you have this one. And when I combine the full track with the thug as a darkened track, you see this, right? So you can see me passing through myself. That's a weird sentence, but that's what you can see. So in order to solve that, I actually went in and manually tracked um, my jacket. So. I'll show you what these tracks look like here. Now, this is what they look like. This is what each frame looks like. Right? So, I went in and manually tracked, like, uh, traced out my, uh, my jacket. And then I composite them on top of these tracks. And now you can see that you won't, you end up not seeing me through the jacket, okay? Then, I just add in this track, and you kinda see my head right here, uh, which I didn't notice, but you can probably see that in the final version because I didn't fix that. But, there's my head. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, it looks pretty good when it's done, all said and done. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, it's not anything fancy. Uh, I kind of winged it. I had no idea how I was going to do this. It works pretty well and I'm actually very proud of how this turned out. Um, I also did uh, a little bit of special effects uh, on this clip, which this is not the right one. So I'll go to my final video. So here you can see where I drew in this um, line and the circle to kind of give it a more connection to the Hitman Go game. All I did here was export the frame without the compositing. I went into GIMP uh, with the exported image and just drew 
that you can't see it because it's black but i just drew this in in there and it kind of it almost preserves the perspective it's not great but it works um and then you can see here that i put this question mark above my head so uh how i did that is actually pretty cool um i tr uh, tracked it in manually and you can see each one of these is a keyframe right so huh? it's not great it's not perfect and there's for some reason an extra frame here that's not in the final video i'm pretty sure if it is i apologize it's not 100 percent perfect you know a computer if if i had the right software would be able to track that in perfectly m match motion uh 100 but uh i didn't have a computer so i mean i didn't have the software and i did this all with open source software um there's no proprietary anything it's all done on linux it's all done basically in gimp and caden live uh it's very easy to do at least you know i found it to be much simpler than i was even anticipating uh so i just wanted to let you guys uh in on a couple of my little uh, secrets so hey thanks for watching um thanks to uh jake jw93 and eg for their input on this um those guys are awesome make sure you like comment and subscribe and uh, as always thanks for watching